Great Gig One says, "What is the best router out of these days?" Means beast meaning less dropouts and easy configurations. I think I need a new one. Mine seems to be dropping out a lot, but I'm so confused after looking them up. Please help. Excellent question, Great Gig. I've got one just for you, but I can't remember the name of it. Bear with me. If I had some elevator music, I'd play it for you right now. Um, it's a Linksys. It's my favorite router, and I just bought one. Love the thing to death. And it is a, I think, an N60UU, N6UU, uh, where are you? N6, there it is. Yep, okay. There's two different models that are out right now. I purchased the earlier model because I had no need for the, uh, the wireless AC. They have all this new technology now for a lot of this wireless that most technology doesn't even use yet. Uh, but the one I bought is the Asus RT N66U dual band wireless N600, N900, I'm sorry, gigabit router. I've used it for over two months, and I was experiencing the exact same issues that you are experiencing right now. I was getting random dropouts. It was driving me mad, especially if you're working with like a web show like me, or you're trying to do any kind of content updating. My Chromebook would randomly drop. Complete nightmare to deal with. So I, I splurged. I got the extra money. It was hundred. It's $130 right now on Amazon. And when this video is cut up, I'll put a link to it uh, in there. And this router is absolutely incredible. Actually, you know what? Let me drop a link right here on the community page. I can do that. I can do that. We have the technology. Uh, the other... Hang on. Let's see what we got here. The other one that I was looking at, and that's their newer model of this, is $200, another reason I didn't buy it, because I didn't want to spend $200 on the router, and that one is the RTAC68U. That will also be on this page. I am going to link here in a second. And there it is. Best router. I'm going to go ahead and just put that on there. Um, I love this thing. Out of the box, incredibly easy to set up. The reason I liked it was because as soon as you get the thing up and running and you go into the setup wizard, you run through the wizard, Configuring everything is just a dream because one of the most frustrating things with a lot of these routers is that user interface they have when you're going in to configure a router. It's junk, and I don't understand router software companies for this uh, because I don't know if maybe they're trying to create demand for their more expensive routers, but a lot of their lower-end routers are just the, the software on them sucks, and I don't get it. You know, It's like you'd think that would be the easiest thing right now to develop but for some reason, it just sucks. Uh, so that's what I recommend. I definitely recommend checking that one. That is an affiliate link I post, by the way. Uh, I just I'm, I'm just wanted to throw that out there. I didn't want you guys to think it wasn't. Um, but uh, it's been probably my favorite experience with the router I've had. Haven't had one dropout since I installed it, not one. And actually, it also improved my Internet speed on all of my devices, and it does a really good job of doing bandwidth management across all my devices. Uh, and there's tons of features, jam-packed full of features of stuff you can use on it as well. Very good product. Uh, Asus did a great job. That was Asus or Linksys? I think it was Asus. It is an Asus router. I'm sorry, it's not Linksys. I apologize. It's a Linksys Asus, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. It's an Asus. I don't care. It's awesome. doesn't matter whose it is. I buy stuff on review, but not by name anymore. So, anyways. I digress. Excellent question. Thank you. 